In this step, we're going to determine the height of our beam and cut the post mounts at the proper spot. Now, in this case, with our little miniature pergola here, we want the top of our beam at 30 inches from the ground. So I've got a post down here that's set at 30 inches. I like to use one of the two by six or two by pieces of aluminum that comes with your kit. I just pull this right out of the beam or the rafter and I use that to mark my measurements at every post. If you have a laser level or a water level, you know how to use those, that will save you a little bit of time. But the old fashioned way is I take my two by six beam, I put it on that post. It's pretty helpful to have a helper at this stage. And the goal is that the pergola beam is level all the way around. That way, even if your patio or your deck has a little bit of slope to it, you can make sure we want that roof nice and level. So when I got my beam set level, use one of these quick clamps. And attach that beam temporarily to my post. So we're not going to screw anything down here. The whole point of this is just to measure and mark my beam height. So I make a little pencil mark at that point. So the instructions have a spot where you can write the measurement from the ground to the mark we just made for each post. So here we have 30 inches. So I write 30 inches down in my book, okay, for post A, and just to make sure I don't mess things up later, we're gonna call that mount post A. I'm gonna go ahead and take this metal beam and circle my entire pergola and make sure that I have a level mark on each one of my posts. That mark is the top of your beam. Next, I'm gonna take my tape measure. I'm gonna measure one inch down from that mark. That is my cut height. So I'm gonna trace that. Mark around all four sides of my pergola post mount. Now in another video, you can see me cut the post mount here in the essence of time. We've got a mount already cut down. So once my mount is cut, the last step is I take my post top plug and drop that in the top of my post. Once your wood post plug is installed, you can repeat that step for the rest of your pergola posts. Next, we're ready to cut the post sleeve for each one of these posts. Here I have a seven inch column sleeve. If your pergola kit has round columns, it's the same exact process. You're gonna to wanna to make a mark at the top of your column corresponding to the post mount. Find my Sharpie here. I'm gonna label this one A. And that's gonna be at the top of your column. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out if your kit has two by six beams or two by eight beams. This step is very important. And there's two ways you can find that information out. One, you can go to your CAD drawing that came with your kit and it will show you what size beams you have. Or you can open up the rest of your package and find out whether you have a six inch or an eight inch main beam. Once you know that, and in this case, we have a six inch beam, you can lay your column sleeve on horses. Now I go back to my measurements, double check again, 30 inches. Because I have a two by six beam, I'm gonna wanna cut my column sleeve eight inches shorter than that. That leaves me room for my base and my capital on my column when I'm all done. If I were to use a two by eight beam, I would wanna cut this 10 inches shorter than the measurement I wrote in the instructions. So 30 inches minus eight should give me 22 inches. Make a little mark. Can trace that mark 
all the way around my post. Grab my circular saw and cut the post at that spot. Once that's all done, you can assemble the rest of your post. And there's a few different components here. We start with the post base, and it'll be labeled column sleeve, column top, and the five by five sleeve. All these fit together very, very tight. And when you're all done, they should slide over the post and look just like this. When your post base is down, you do wanna make sure to put a fastener to keep the post base from ever moving. It, it is gonna fit tight, but over time, things can shift a little bit. So if you have a deck, you wanna use a deck screw and screw this base down in all four holes to the deck. If it's a patio or a, um, you know, something made out of concrete, use a Tapcon, it'll fit there. So once that's all done, and your fasteners, there should be a little bag. This one's labeled column base plug. Grab a little bit of glue, stick that in there, and finished product should just look just like that.